Hi, let us start a topic called as numbers and number system. In that, the first question is which of the following numbers is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 8 and 9. So this is of the basic of the numbers and its divisibility rules. So here the peculiarity is 8 and 9. So what is the peculiarity of 8 is the last three digits should be divisible. So observing that for the last three digits should be divisible only in 3024 the last three digits is said to be exactly divisible by uh, this particular uh, 8. In the same way there is no other number which is said to be exactly divisible. In the same way let us check 9. Whenever you are checking 9 the sum of the digits should be divisible. So checking both 8 and 9 why are we not checking about 2 3 and 4 because 2 and 4 are factors of 8 and 3 is a factor of 9 so just checking 8 and 9 we can clearly say that the answer is 4 however there is also a, a rule for this finding out the LCM that is the least common multiple of the given numbers that is 2 3 4 8 and 9 so the LCM of all these is for 2 it is 2 into 1, for 3 it is 3 into 1, for 4 it is 2 square into 1, for 8 it is 2 cube into 1 and 9 it is 3 square. Therefore what is the LCM that is the least common multiple? Anything in the form of the highest power of 2 is 3 and the highest power of 3 is 2. Now what is 8 9 are 72 that is the least common multiple. So the given answer should be in the form of 72 into some k whatever the k belongs to any natural number. You can substitute k belongs to natural number then 3024 should be an answer. So this is how this is the rule method and whatever I told you before is the basic divisibility rules method. Let us get into the next question. Here the, they are speaking about the highest factor of 3 contained in 50 factorial. First of all we need to know what is meant by n factorial. In n factorial it is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into and so on till 1. For example if you are talking about some 5 factorial it is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Uh, it is nothing but 120. So if anyone is asking you what is the number of zeros at the end of 5 factorial. So you can say that the number of zeros is 1. But he is talking about 50 factorial. Now we are not in a position to find out what is a 50 factorial. So what is a rule. So whenever they are talking about the highest power of any prime number for any particular n number of factorial what we can do is directly divide that particular given n factorial with the 3. Now 3 sixteenths is 48. There is a remainder of 2. There is 3 fives is 15. There is a remainder of 1. 3 ones is 3. There is a remainder of 2. Let us leave all 16 plus 5 21 plus 1 22. Therefore what is the highest power of 3? 22. Now you have a doubt why are we leaving all the remainders 2, 1, 2 and all. For every 3 values only the highest power changes. Now the given remainders are less than 3 that is 2, 1 and 2. So probably as yes, since they are less than 3 those all are negligible. Only these can be added 16 plus 5 plus 1 is 22. Therefore the highest power of 3 in 50 factorial is 22. Similarly again LCM kind of a concept find the smallest number which when divided by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 leaves a respect to reminders of 1 means when you are dividing with 2 the remainder is 1 it seems when you are dividing with 3 the remainder should be 2 it seems when you are dividing with 4 the remainder should be 3 it seems same if at all you are going with the rule find out what is the LCM of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and 9 and whatever the whatever the reminders you got that is 1 2 3 4 
5, 6, 7, 8. Means when you are dividing with 2, the remainder is 1. When you are dividing with 3, the remainder is 2. When you are dividing with 4, the remainder is 3. When you are dividing with 5, the remainder is 4. And so on till when you are dividing with 9, the remainder is 8. So, what is the common remainder that you get? The common remainder is 1. So, first we need to find out what is the LCM of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Which is nothing but, um, since it, you are talking about the LCM, it is 2 cube into 3 square into 5 into 7. So, this is the LCM of all those given numbers 2 into 3 into, that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 until 9. So, how much is this? It is somewhere around... Um, uh, 8 9 is 72, 72 5 is 360, 360 7 is 2520. So it is 2520. Since you got a common remainder 1, we need to subtract it. So it is 2520 minus 1 is 2519. This is the methodological process. So going into the rules of whatever it is. But if at all you are uh, using a bit of common sense, like whenever you are dividing with 2, the remainder is 1 definitely the answer should be uh, odd number so one particular option is neglected secondly whenever you are dividing with 3 the particular remainder should be equal to uh, 2 so definitely the sum of the digits should be exactly divisible to that particular number and leaves a remainder 2 so coming to the options over here 2 plus 3 is the first option 5 plus 6 is 11 plus 7 is 18 which is exactly set to be divisible so this cannot be an answer because you need to have 2 as a reminder. 2 plus, I am checking the fourth option, 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, 11 plus 1 is 12, but 12 is also exactly divisible by 3. Now 2 plus 5 is 7, plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 9 is 17. So whenever you are dividing with 3, 3 5 is 15, you are having 2 as a reminder. Therefore, we can, without using all this, we can go with the logic of divisibility of rules and tell that the answer is 2, 5, 1, 9. Going to the next question is, what is the remainder when 2 to the power of 87 is divided by 9? So, whenever 2 to the power of 87 is said to be divisible by 9, what happens now? So, now, can I write 2 to the power of 87 as 2 cube whole to the power of 29? A power m whole power n, A power m n. So, 2 to the power of 3 into 29 is 87 again. Now, can I write 9 as 2 cube plus 1? So it's clearly just indicating that it is a particular polynomial whenever it is said to be divisible by x minus a, f of a is a remainder and if it is said to be divisible by x plus a, f of minus a is a remainder. So it is minus 1, I mean instead of 2 cube, you can substitute minus 1, minus 1 whole to the power of 29. Whenever it is minus 1 whole to the power of 29, the resultant is minus 1, but you never have a remainder as minus 1. So, what is the remainder now? Whatever the number you are dividing with, you need to subtract that minus 1. So, 9 minus 1 is 8. Therefore, what is your remainder? The remainder is 8. 